Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you're new, my name is Natalie and I would love, or actually we would love if you subscribed to our channel. Um, it would mean a lot to us. I am an accounting major. I go to the University of North Texas. Deciding really sucks. Um, and I am uh, getting my master's degree, so. I'll be uh, taking the CPA exam probably um, very in the very near future. I'll have to study very, very soon. Um, and yeah, but today is Thursday. It's May 5th. I think, yeah, May 5th. There's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> um... I, yesterday, I literally got so many labs done for my data analytics class. I think I probably did like eight labs with uh, like Excel and using Tableau and KPIs and all that stuff. And then last night, I also had two Becker quizzes due for my ethics class. So I did those, all that yesterday, and then yesterday I went and I got my teeth cleaned. She said I didn't have any cavities, which is really great. Um, I try and take care of my teeth as much as I can. And um, yeah, I've like I've just been known for my teeth. I don't know. I, I take really good care of them. And... Um, Today I'm going to be coloring my hair. So my appointment's at 11.15 and he's playing with my little camera string. Jasper, go get him, go get him. Say hi, say hi. He's always so hyper in the morning. This cat's like always hyper, I swear he never stops. Like he's always so energetic, it, it's nuts. Um. So I straightened my hair on Sunday um, and I used the Revlon like brush, the blowout brush, and it worked so good, you guys. Um, but I have a hair appointment today, so I'm going to be adding some blonde back in my hair. And I don't know, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I think... I've been talking about wanting to add blonde back, blonde back in my hair, but now that, like, the day's actually here, I don't know if I really, 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 really want to do it, because with dark hair, it's such a pain in the butt, um, especially to, like, maintain, and, like, the process of getting blonde in dark hair is just, it's a lot, um, but my hair lady is amazing, so I know she's not going to like fry my hair or anything. So my hair is actually really healthy right now. So the fact that I'm about to destroy it <laughs> uh, annoys me, but I think we'll be okay. Um, I made my protein shake, so um, I'm eating this for breakfast. And then I had some carbs. I had a ched egg, which is like an Armenian pastry cookie type of uh, thing. Um, it's, it's like a sweet bread, uh, but it's really, really good. And I'm going to take a quick body shower here in a second. Um, but my protein smoothie is half of a frozen banana, two dates, a teaspoon of peanut butter, some almond milk, ice, and uh, chocolate protein powder and it's really really good and then i'm gonna make some protein coffee to take with me uh i did not work out today or yesterday um your girl is on her period this week so and these classes are seriously kicking my butt no joke this week, just just week three, I have 14 labs that are due. Just just week three. So imagine 
the grand total of week one, week two, week three, and week four, all those labs, imagine how many there are. There's probably like 40 something labs total that I'm doing in like four weeks. It's nuts. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this in my last vlog or not, but I took my ethics midterm and I got an 80 on it, which is good. I'll take the B. It's not the grade I wanted, but it's fine. Um, and next week is my last week. It's crazy. And then I'll be starting summer classes and my birthday's coming up. Um, my birthday's May 22nd. I'll be 26 years old. That's freaking crazy. My brother's graduating high school. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot of like stuff going on. I feel like, um, Mother's Day is coming. Oh, I can't keep up. Oh my God, you guys, my car got towed on uh, this past weekend. I went to go see my mom and my brother Saturday and Sunday. I went over there and just like hung out with them. Sunday, you guys, Sunday. I was leaving around 6.30 and I was walking out in the parking lot and I kid you not, my car was not there and I, it was so weird. I like, I walk up to the spot that I parked in and I just stare and I'm like, I thought I parked here. I know I parked here, like where's my car? And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, my car got towed. So I called my mom and I was like, hey, uh, they towed my car. I don't know why I parked in visitor parking. I don't know why they towed my car. So whatever, I went back in the apartment with my mom and my brother and my mom was like so pissed off and I was too, but I was more like, like, like I, I just didn't, I, whatever. Anyway, so I called the towing company and I was like, hey, do you guys have my car? And like, why did you guys tow it? Um, they said because I didn't register my car within the apartment complex and so even though I parked in visitor parking, they still have the right to tow my car, which honestly to me sounds a little BS, but, um, yeah, so we ended up having to go pick up my car and pay for it and they towed my car at 6.15, 15 minutes before I was about to leave. 15 minutes before I left. If I had left at 6.15, my car would not have been towed. That, I think, is what made me more mad. And the fact that it was a Sunday. It was a Sunday. They ruined my Sunday. I was literally, like, come on, guys. On a Sunday, whatever. I have my car back. Nothing happened to it. It's fine. Just the whole process of the way they just like to make money, honestly. It, it's kind of disgusting. Whatever. Anyways, um... Yeah, I've been talking for like eight minutes. I'm gonna go take a body shower. Hi guys, so I completely have not basically vlogged um, ever since I went, or ever since I left the house this morning to go to my hair appointment. Um, after my hair appointment, I had some time to grab some lunch, so I got some Chick-fil-A, and then I had, I went straight to campus, and then I met up with Maya and Lauren because they had a study room. So I did some homework and just hung out with them until we had our night class together. Um, my hair, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, 
I know that I have really, really dark hair, so I know going blonde is a huge process. It takes time, and I'm basically not going to be blonde um, the first time I get my hair done. So, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, after I looked in the mirror, like right after my hair appointment, I don't... Sorry, my camera cut off. Um, I had to clear some of my memory. But I, to be completely honest, I was expecting to be a little bit uh, more cool toned, not warm toned. But again, like my hair is so dark, like it's a process. I get that, I know. I just wasn't expecting to be like a gold caramel color. Um, so when I looked in the mirror right after, I think I had texted my hairstylist like after I left and I told her, I was like, hey, like, I really don't like my hair. Um, I'm thinking about maybe just going back to being dark and just not even bothering with like the blonde. Um, so she was like, she was really nice about it. Um, now i think it's grown on me throughout the day i i think i actually kind of like it uh but i literally like right after i my hair appointment i thought i was gonna cry <laughs> um so i made another appointment on the 19th of this month and basically between now and the 19th i'm going to think about if I want to go lighter, so make it like more blonde, more light, um, basically what I'm actually going for, or do I want to keep it like this, or do I want to go back dark? Um, so let me know what you guys think. Like, what should I do? Should I keep it like this? Should I go more, like, more lighter, or should I go back to being dark haired? Um, I think with my tan it looks pretty good let me know what you guys think um, I don't know I don't know how I feel about it anyways after I got home I have been well I had class and then I worked on an assignment for my ethics class that's due tomorrow I turned that in which was just a case I had to read a case and answer questions uh, regarding AICPA code, um, like integrity, confidentiality, and um, basically just explain using the code and the rules and how it applies to the case. So I did that, turned that in, that's due tomorrow. Don't have to worry about that. And then I started working on Monday's assignment, which is answering questions and it has to do with apologies. So I'm using the readings that she posted on canvas um she literally has i kid you not like 10 or 12 readings on like apologies so i've been using that to help me answer questions but i'm halfway through i think i'm stopping for tonight because it's getting late and i'm really really tired i've i'm just really really tired i, I don't feel like staying up super late tonight and I want to be up early in the morning because I want to do a workout tomorrow since I didn't work out today. So, um, but yeah, this is probably going to be a few days in my life vlog. I'm just going to vlog today and probably tomorrow, which is Friday. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow, but let me know what you think about my hair in the comments down below. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs>
it's Friday and uh, it's 12.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> um, this morning we went for a walk and Chris is staring at me really weird, I don't know why. But we went for a walk this morning and then um, I came home, I took a body shower. Chris made omelets for breakfast and I just made my protein coffee, which is so good. Really, really good. And he's still staring at me, but I'm gonna keep talking. So I'm sitting on um, his desk area with his like PC and whatnot. And um, you like my new headphones? I just bought them. They're really cool. They have this like cool mic right here and they also like turn colors on the side. Um, yeah, they're called the Arctis Pro. Yeah. And yeah. Um, what else? What else? Oh, um, I'm going to be working on some labs today for data analytics. Can, can you open that blind, please? My me? name is Gamer Girl. Chris, can you please open the Gamer blind? Girl this Valley? light makes me look orange. I don't like it. <clears throat> Babe? I'm coming. Damn. Can you, can you, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that oh it's my phone it's my phone um i gave maya my laptop yesterday because she has a mac and for some reason her laptop is giving her trouble so uh we have literally two other computers no the light makes you look really i, I don't like the light i don't like the light um <laughs> yeah we have we basically have two computers here so i still have his laptop and his pc that i can use to do my labs, but I'm gonna be seeing her today anyway, so I'll be getting my laptop back. And then I have class tonight for ethics. Uh, next week I have finals. And um, yeah, we're gonna Chris be doing- is done with his finals because he doesn't have to take any. Shut up, I'm actually really upset about that. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, we're gonna Chris do some, some ex Excel labs today. So this is what I just finished for lab 7-6. So this is all about power pivot and using KPIs. Um, this is what I created. So basically we're just kind of drilling down um, like current year numbers and previous month numbers, current month numbers and last year numbers between every state um, for the years 2014, 15, and 16, and then all these stores throughout the states. And specifically, we're talking about the Dillard stores. Um, I don't know if this, this data is probably not really, I don't know if it's accurate or realistic, but this is what I created. Um, so if I take off this filter, you can literally see all of these different states and this list just can go on forever and ever. So now I'm going to, I just did a Zoom uh, screen record and screen share. So I'm going to um, post that to Canvas for uh, submission. Jasper, come say hi to the for camera. Say hi everyone. Jasper. He's been laying outside on the patio. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, what? Did you get your keyboard? Yeah. So I was like cleaning out Chris's keyboard earlier. Uh, his keyboard is very disgusting. I'm not gonna show you because I'm gonna be nice <laughs> to Chris and not show you what I took off of his keyboard. Um, but it made him go to Best Buy 
and he bought a new keyboard and a new mat for his desk area and then I asked him if he could check to see how much the magic keyboard is for the iPad because I've been wanting one recently just because I feel like it's a little bit more convenient having the mouse on my iPad because I do use my iPad more than my laptop um, and he found one that's like on sale so, red what is it red box or red sticker whatever. red box or red sticker so I guess what that means is it was bought and then someone returned it and he the guy at the at Best Buy said it was returned because it was the wrong size for the iPad so um, hopefully there's nothing wrong with it and if there is we'll just take it back but it's just the black magic keyboard um, he got it for 175 it says no it says no damage um, original price for this is normally 250 to 3 um, and I have a 11 inch iPad Pro so really see anything like any marks or anything there it, there it does look a little dirty but maybe I can just wipe it off I mean there's just like a little mark right here I don't know what that's from but uh, I don't even know how to open oh okay so it's whoa how do you break it. I'm not I just don't know how to let me take off so I have this case it's by Apple and it's just the keyboard folio keyboard um, and I like it a lot I just now I feel like kind of need a mouse because I use my iPad a lot so so this is like a magnet, and then does it fit? Yeah, it fits. Yeah, get the dust bunny on yours. I need to get some like cleaning utensils from Amazon specifically for like keyboards, AirPods. My AirPods are gross. There's like fuzz everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to use the the back. Oh. I'm going to have to get used to this and then put my Apple Pencil on top. So now this has a mouse. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay, cool. So I have a magic keyboard now. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. You can take it back. No. Spoiled. If, if it's for my birthday, I want a brand new one. You hear that? You hear how extra she is? Well, it is a little dirty. Okay. Put some switch on. Make it new. I just it just looks like dust so I'm just gonna take like a little cloth and then get the dust out from here but other than that I'm gonna use it today for class and see uh, if it works properly and then hopefully there's nothing wrong with it so hey guys I am now home I just recently got home and it's around 11 o'clock at night um, I went to class earlier and I ended up not carpooling with Maya and Lauren. We all just like met up on campus and then showed up to class together. Um, 
and then I had my ethics class tonight. After that, I stopped by my mom and uh, my brother's place and ate dinner over there. I kind of just hung out with them for a little bit and then I came home. Um, update on the Magic Keyboard. I really, really like it. Um, the mouse comes in handy. Um, I use it a lot during my ethics class today, so... Uh, I'm going to show you the headline. That's fine. It says Nespresso says the drugs do not contaminate their coffee. Fifty million dollars worth of cocaine discovered in coffee bean shipment at the Nespresso factory. So let's go order some Nespresso and we might get some cocaine. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I really, really have enjoyed using this keyboard um there's nothing wrong with the case that i had before i really actually enjoyed that case especially from for someone who like used my laptop all the time i just felt like as i uh, like i don't even know how to explain it i'm in the master's program so I feel like I needed something a little more advanced. So um, Maya and Lauren both have this keyboard or this case. And so I noticed that it was really handy having the mouse on like the iPad because I don't really like to use my laptop if I don't have to. Um, I like to, I pretty, I can't even talk. I'm, I'm so done, I can't talk. I'm, I'm over it, I'm over these classes. I'm over school, I'm literally over everything. Um, anyway, it's just handy, um, but I'm going to show you, I did work on the assignment for Monday for my ethics class. I'm almost done with it. I think I have maybe, let's see, one more question to answer. Yeah, I have one more question to answer. It's the last question, but I have to read three different examples of different readings that she posted on Canvas. So I'm gonna read those first and then answer the questions and then submit it. This is due Monday. I also have three more lab, three or four more labs to do for uh, data analytics. That's for this week. I have my online class tomorrow for data analytics. It's on Zoom, it's at 9.30 in the morning. And then next week is my last week of these compressed classes, thank goodness, because I'm literally drowning, you guys. Um, what else, what else is going on? I, my self tanner looks pretty uh, good on, um, the only thing I notice is like on my thigh and the back of my knees, it's kind of starting to like fade. Uh, so I need to fix that sometime this weekend. It's also Mother's Day this weekend. Um, but let me show you this assignment really quickly and then I'm gonna like call it a night. Okay, so as you can see, the mouse is right here. It, it's really, really handy. So here's my assignment. So I think there's like six questions. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight questions. So I'm on this last question down here where it says read the examples of apologies. Um, so I have this question left and then I'll submit this tomorrow. But this is what I have so far. Just a good amount of, oh, actually I have two questions left. I didn't finish this one in class. Um, I tend to work on my assignments in class sometimes, uh, probably not a good idea, but um, the past like week I've been, why is this lighting orange? I don't like that. Anyways, bro, what is up with this lighting? I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've been trying to work on assignments during class. Um, not very smart because it kind of distracts you from listening to what they're lecturing but honestly i'm just trying to knock out these assignments and get through these freaking classes as fast as i can other than that i'm gonna end the vlog here i think it's gonna be pretty long i have a lot of editing to do 
and hope you guys enjoyed these past uh two days in my life and let me know what you guys think of my hair because i can't decide um do you do you like the color should i keep it like this should i go lighter and blonder um and let me know in the comments down below but i will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life